Hello and welcome to GoGeekO.com. This video covers the instructions for power center installation and configuration. Before I cover the installation steps, I would like to talk about main Informatica products. There are many Informatica products in the market, but out of all those products, these are the four main products. Power Center, which I have already covered in my overview video. Power Center is mainly used for ETL and ELT type of work. Second product is IDQ. It is also called as Informatica Data Quality. This product is mainly used for data quality, data profiling purpose. Another product is MDM master data management mainly mdm or master data management is the solution to manage business main entities main entities for any business are very important to drive profits for example in retail business like amazon you can have customers and products as the main entities or tables data in these tables can come from many different sources and you as a business want to ensure that their data quality is maintained, especially with standardized data across and without any duplicates. Another example is in a big hospital, doctors or providers can be your main entity. For example, you don't want to send promotional flyers, letters to same customers twice or even thrice because of duplicates in your system. This is just an extra cost and a major cost if you have millions of customers with duplicates data in your system. Informatica Cloud can also be used for ETL and ELT purpose, but for Informatica Cloud you don't have to install software like you have to do for Power Center, IDQ or MDM. Informatica Cloud is a SaaS based solution. For this install, I will be pointing to some of the very good videos and links we found on the internet. If you face any issues, do send us your comments and we will answer your questions promptly. Now let me first cover the prerequisites to install Power Center. There are two main prerequisites. For first step, check the Oracle install video which covers where you need to download it from and also how to install it. To download Oracle software, you need to create an Oracle account on their website and don't forget to agree with the terms and conditions. Once you successfully install Oracle, second step is that you connect Oracle through the Oracle client like SQL Developer or SQL Plus command prompt or any Oracle client software like Toad. You need to run these commands as sys user. Let me quickly show you SQL Developer with all these commands. These are some of the default commands. Main commands are table space creation. You would want to have a separate table space for your users if you want you can even create roles these are some of the standard roles also you need to create a user called dev domain you can name it whatever you want but you mainly need to create two users one for domain and one for the repository i have just created two users one named as dev underscore domain and the other user called dev underscore repository so i just wanted to show you these scripts within the SQL developer. Also keep in mind when I executed this command I connected as the sys user so you might want to do that as well. Let me cancel that out and get back to the installation PPT. All these Oracle DDL commands or scripts are copied in the comment section below of this video. I have also copied the required links for this installation below for your convenience so don't forget to check them out let me quickly talk about power center architecture on a very high level informatica power center has simple client server architecture where many client machines can connect to same server client machines are the ones where developers develop mapping sessions or workflows 
and send command to Informatica server to execute those workflows. As a developer, you connect to repository to start your work. Repository, in simple terms, is the database where metadata is stored. We will cover more about Power Center architecture and administration in my other videos. Once prerequisites are completed, you need to download Informatica Power Center software, which is available on Oracle eDelivery website. After downloading the software, start the actual Power Center install. Please see below videos for the installation. These are very simple videos with clear instructions. These videos covers where to get the software and then installation of Power Center and they also cover the configuration of Power Center like creating repository services, integration services in admin console of Power Center. Second video will cover the client installation which is far easy step in the install process. This completes the Power Center installation tutorial. Don't hesitate to reach out to us for any questions related to this video. I will cover Power Center tool specific details and a simple expression transformation in my next video. That video is the main point where you will start getting comfortable with Power Center tool, so don't miss out on that. Thanks for watching this video and do check out our website www.goeco.com for more easy to learn videos. Bye.